So when you're thinking JBL Crown, for granddaddy of the amplifiers, it's got to be the A6000 GTI Monster Amp, probably the biggest amp JBL ever made for car audio. There was what we call a daddy version, the A3000 GTI, which was a stereo version at the time, the most powerful stereo amplifier available. But guess what? They made more than just two. That's right. They made the Sun, we call it the BPX 2200.1. That's what we're going to look at today. I love the look of the clear plexi across the top. And here we'll show one end of the amplifier and talk about what we got here. Remote level control. It is made in Korea. There's a boost and a high pass frequency, crossover frequency and slope, input level control, and RCA input and auxiliary output. There's also a switch for parallel mode or standard two channel or bridge mode. Use the parallel mode if you're gonna use really low impedances. On the opposite side, we have dual four gauge, power and ground for inputs, as well as a remote terminal. Then we have the dual speaker outputs there for left and right. Also the power and ground for the neon for this amp. Now this video that I'm showing you here was done back in 2015. So you have to excuse not only the video quality, the audio quality, anything like that, but I thought just to leave it raw here for the Wilson Audio Extras channel would be cool. And I do mention a couple of times the amp is for sale. Of course, the amp is long gone. Uh, it's no longer for sale. But as far as specs go, you can pause this if you want to see all the specs, but basically at 4 ohm, 650 by 2 or 2450 bridged at 4 ohms. It's also stable down to 1 ohm at 1810 by 1 channel. I did not test it at that load, but let's find out how it did here on the Amp Dyno. All right, here's the JBL BPX 2200.1. We do a certified run at 8 ohms. Since we have it uh, mono, we're going to test out the uh, two channel capability of this amp. It's rated 650 by 2, so we're looking 1300 watts to meet rated 40 hertz test track. Yes, sir. 1487 at 14.2 volts. All right, now we're gonna try an uncertified run at eight ohms, JBL BPX 2200.1. See if it does any more than the certified. Fifteen, eighteen, fourteen point one volts. Now let's try the dynamic run at eight ohms. Good dynamic power. Looks like right around almost sixteen hundred watts. 1589, 14.2 volts. All right, let's try a certified run at four ohms mono. JBL BPX 2200.1. It's rated 20, 2450 watts. Wow, that's so close. 2376 at 13.9 volts. All right, let's try uncertified at four ohms. 2412, 2424 at 13.55 volts. And there's the current pull, 263.9 amps, 264 amps. All right, now let's try a dynamic run at four ohms for the JBL BPX 2200.1. It's rated to do 2950 dynamically. So let's see if we can get that at 14.4. Pretty close. Twenty six ninety 
14.5 volts, 40 hertz. All right, let's try the JBL BPX 2200 at two ohms mono, dynamic. Thirty-eight hundred and fifty-one watts, fourteen point eight three volts. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Here we have this JBL Crown. Uh, is the model number is BPX twenty-two hundred dot one. As you can see, this thing is in fantastic condition. I would give it probably a nine out of ten. Some people may say it's mint. It's got a few very small scratches. Plexi looks really good. Um, exterior is really nice. It's a very cool looking amp. And there you can see some of the options. It does not have the remote level control with it. I'm going to stop this from spinning around for a minute here. So here's our little card. Today is the 4th, and here's the dyno test results. Jimmy wanted this amp tested to make sure you know it was good to go, make sure that it put out its power, and got very close to rated, even though uh, if I would have had 14.4 volts, I'm sure it would have gotten to the rated power. But it's a monster. I mean, it's got two separate channels. It'll do about 750 watts by two at 4 ohms. And it does a little over 2300 watts at 4 ohms bridged. You can see dynamically it kicks some butt too. Uh, the test I did was at 40 hertz. JBL rated it at 2450 watts at 4 ohms, but I don't know if they use 50 hertz, 60 hertz, one kil uh, 100 hertz, or what. But um, anyway, like I said, if I had 14.4 volts steady, then I could have gotten that rated power. But this is the Crown Amp 2. A JBL and this one was made in uh, about 2004 and um, let's spin it around here so you can see it's got dual four gauge inputs it allows you to parallel bridge the channels if you want to it needs a 150 amp external fuse and BPX 2200.1 Show you the other side. It's going to spin the opposite way, of course. This is where you play the Jeopardy theme. Okay, sorry. It's late. I'm tired. It's been a long week already. So there's a remote level control boost. It's made in Korea, designed and engineered in the USA. It's got a little bit of scratchy scratchy right there. That's really about the only one that you'll notice on here. See the other options here. Um, I'll put a link to the manual. So you can read that. Again, the Plexi is in really good shape. There might be some really fine, you know, hairline scratches here and there. But overall, really good shape. Very cool amp. So if you want it, let Jimmy know and I'll ship it out to you, including the birth sheet. Big D Wiz, old school stereo, out of here.